all right you guys back with one more video so in today's video i'm going to create a short story in which there'll be a voiceover and some moving images before we get further into the video let's look at a quick preview of the story that i created once upon a time there was a young man named jack who loved adventure he often went on long hikes and camping trips to explore the beauty of nature one day jack decided to embark on a solo trip to a nearby forest as he trekked deeper into the woods Jack marveled at the sights and sounds around him. The rustling of leaves, the chirping of birds, and the gurgling of a nearby stream made him feel alive. He walked for hours, taking in the beauty of the forest, until he realized that he had lost his way. Jack tried to retrace his steps, but everything looked the same. We mainly have to go through three steps in order to create such a short story. The first step is to go to ChatGPT and create a short script. The second step is to go to Eleven Labs and convert the script into a voiceover. And the third step is to use an art generator and create some art for the short story. For now, I'm going to use Leonardo.ai. Coming to the first step, as you can see right here, I want you to write a short story of a survivor who gets lost in the woods. The story should be written in the style of narration. So this was the prompt that I gave ChatGPT in order to generate this story that was there in the short film and as you can see i wrote this prompt and within seconds chat gpt created the whole script for me once you are done creating the script just copy the whole script from chat gpt and paste it into 11 labs if you don't have a account on 11 labs then create a free account on 11 labs you get a lot of free credits on 11 labs so for now I have 7900 credits on Levin Labs and creating this script took around 2100 credits. Once you have created a free account on Eleven Labs, this is a layout that will be displayed once you create the account. And then you can come to this section right here from where you can select different sounds. If you do what you've always done, you'll get what not what we have but what we enjoy constitutes our abundance. It is the mark of an educated... You cannot find yourself by going into the past. You can find yourself by coming into the present. So these are the different sounds you can select from according to your preference and what you are creating. These are some of the advanced settings like stability, clarity plus similarity enhancement. And you can also set it to default. Once you've gone through all the settings, just paste your script in this section right here. Once you've done that, you can click on generate. And within seconds, your script and your voiceover will be ready. Once you've done that and your script and voiceover are ready, you can just preview your voiceover from right here. You cannot find yourself by going into the past. Now, the only thing you need to do is download the voiceover from this section right here. Now, the next step is to generate some art for our short story. For that, you can use any AI art generation tool if you know or are familiar with some. But if you're not familiar with any, then just go to leonardo.ai. So I've opened leonardo.ai and let's go to AI image generation. And I'm going to show you some of the images that I generated for my short story. These are all the images that I generated. And then I selected a couple of images to put it in my short story. Now, if you look at the prompt of these images, explorer man named Jack walking and trekking into the forest, explorer man named Jack. So if you see one thing common in all the prompts is that I have put in explorer man named Jack. This is a trick that is used in order to get similar characters in all the images. So if you write a particular name and add some keywords and you add the same keywords in every image that you generate, then you are going to get a similar character in every image and you can further describe the characteristics of the character in the prompt that you are going to write after this. Although I use the name Jack, it is a very generalized name and the results using this name are not that precise. I want to suggest you something you can do with your own generations that is better than just choosing any name. So visit this website. The website is called Behind the Name and then you can select different names from this website. For example, when you visit the website, you will you can choose any gender. You can choose any ethnicity or any country. So I have chosen French right here and I have chosen masculine. And then all the options that I'm going to get are masculine, 
like means men and I can select one name out of all these names so just copy one name from all these names and now let's go back to leonardo.ai and instead of using Jack as our character let's paste the name that we copied from that and let's see what the result looks like now so these are the generations I generated some images using the previous name but for some reason I got pretty similar faces so I changed the name the faces are not that similar but in a way they resemble the previous faces so I changed the name to Anthony in the woods looking confused lost his way and I removed Explorer so these are the results that it came up with now let's try putting in some other name and see how much the results differ so I came back to this website behind the name and this time I have selected this name I've already copied it now let's go back to leonardo.ai and paste the same name right here and this time we've got completely different faces and let's try some keywords I added some keywords in the prompt like he is wearing a torn t-shirt with a backpack on his back exploring so let's click on generate and see what it comes up with now so these are the results it has come up with the physiques look a bit different like somewhere and the hair and the beard also looks a bit different but overall the face looks quite similar so we can describe characteristics like physique, the beard, the hair to get the same results in all the images. I generated a new image set and the prompt that I used was a skinny man with short hair and no beard named Aristide in the woods looking for etc etc. I just added a skinny man with short hair and no beard and this is what the images look like. Now I wanted a black man so uh, a skinny black man with short hair and no beard named Aristide so this is what the generation came up with when I described the exact characteristics that I wanted for the character and as you can see the characteristics in these images look quite similar to each other if you want to describe the texture and the design on the t-shirt as well to make the t-shirt similar you can do that too that will further bring the details closer to each other and will look good if you create some script and story of your own. The example that I showed you in my video was not that precise. So don't look at that example. It was just to show you that you can do something like this. Now the things that I'm generating right now and explaining you. These are the things that you need to follow in order to get similar characters to design something unique of your own. To demonstrate how similar the images look. I regenerated the same prompt. And these are the images that came out the second time and as you can see they are all similar like the color schemes and the faces the hair the beard are all same almost same at least so my point that I want to prove right here is the more detail you give in a prompt like the color the face the shape the structure etc the more similarities you will have in all the images of your characters that you want to create so this was it for the video if you liked the video then subscribe to my channel and before i finish the video if you haven't watched all my leonardo.ai videos and the canvas editor videos then go in the description down below where i have given the link to all the useful videos on the basics of leonardo.ai as well as how to create your own characters all the basics so go watch the videos and i'll meet you in my next video with some more ai related content